The New York Times put out this article, the racial wage gap is shrinking. Though still enormous, the gap has shrunk over the past five years. Let's get into it. In the early 2000s, the wage gap between black and white workers in the U.S. was as large as it had been in 1950. That is a shocking statistic and a sign of the country's deep racial inequality. Over the past five years, however, the story has changed somewhat. The wage gap, though still enormous, has shrunk. It's a pretty meaningful reversal. In today's newsletter on Juneteenth, I'll try to explain why the gap has narrowed and what would have to happen for it to narrow more. After all, even with the recent progress, the median black worker makes 21% less than the median white worker. All right, so why is it shrinking? A strong economy. There, there appears to be three main causes of the recent trend and the most significant is the country's tight labor market. The unemployment rate has been falling for most of the past decade and has recently been near its lowest level since the 1960s. Tight labor markets help almost all workers and they tend to help the disadvantaged workers the most. When employers can't be quite as choosy, when employers have to look beyond their network, they can provide more opportunities for historically marginalized groups. The fight for 15. More than a decade ago, a group of fast food workers in New York City became, began agitating for a higher minimum wage. They attracted the support of Senator Bernie Sanders, the leaders of the Service Employees International Union, and other high-profile allies, the movement became known as the Fight for 15. It has not persuaded Congress to lift the federal minimum wage, mostly because of opposition from congressional Republicans. The federal hourly minimum wage has been 715 since 2009. But even as inflation has eroded its value, the Fight for 15 has helped change. It's, it's definitely changed in different cities, so that is amazing and we are going to see if it continues to go up for some people. So here is the minimum wage graph in 2003 dollars for people that don't know the, the price of money or the value of money changes over time. So the trajectory line up is a good thing. Minimum wage increases tend to shrink the racial wage gap for the same reason that the tight labor markets do. Black workers disproportionately work low wage jobs. As a result, one powerful way to reduce racial inequality is to reduce economic inequality. The flip is also true. The racial wage wage gap widened in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, mostly because income inequality was soaring. The last part I want to focus on, a reduction in economic inequality can substantially shrink the black-white wage gap, but that gap will never approach zero so long as racial inequities remain as large as they are in the U.S. today. You guys can go ahead and finish reading this. Like, comment, share.